Hi Aquarius, Happy New Year. I love you guys so much. I hope that you guys had a beautiful holiday season. I hope that you're all healthy and doing great and having a beautiful new year as well. My name is Lynn and this is Passion of Heart Tarot. If you're new to my channel, thank you for being here with me. So this is your January love reading, Aquarius. We're going to take a look at the energy coming in for your love life this month in January. Let's see what your messages are from Spirit. All right, you guys, let's jump right in. Let's see what Spirit has for us before I begin. Just want to take a moment and invite the white light of the Holy Spirit. interesting because i can see these aces coming through then these kindred spirits are coming through it's important um and then i see a divine connection i see someone being let in out of the cold i see something that looks very slow and steady as it builds up the Ace of Swords as the overall energy experiences in your love life. I wonder if this is someone that you've, uh, you're not in communication with this person, not speaking to this person, but maybe some of you do feel like that person is your person, you know, your forever person, the person that you truly belong with. Because with the Five of Pentacles coming through, that really is the energy of someone who is on the outside and they become an insider. So for some of you, this is this is spirit letting you know that you're getting ready to connect with uh, a very divine partner. You know, someone that you look at and feel is the perfect person for you. So where, where, where things change for you, Aquarius, for some of you, if you've been in a place where you feel lonely or you just feel um, maybe even abandoned, if you feel forgotten about, things are really going to do a 180 turnaround for you because this just feels amazing. It feels like I was, I, I didn't know where I belonged and now I feel like I had someone welcome me with open arms. So there's like a real peace that's coming in for you, a serenity that's coming in for you, a sense of belonging, family, inclusion, partnership, because you are going to enter into a divine partnership. That's why the three of pentacles is here, because I feel like it's what these two wrote to experience before they came into this lifetime. You see, there's like a scroll that's written there. So I feel like you're going to connect with uh, a very, very important person. Now, for some of you, you may already know who this person is because I can see the history that you have with them and the way that you guys uh, may not be in communication. But for others of you, you just may relate to the energy that, that I described of longing for this person, you know, longing for that special person, longing to find uh, your person, longing to find who is right for you. And I see you finding that person or moreover, the two of you find each other. And I can see you being in a very serious relationship. So for some of you, if you're single now, this is spirit letting you know that you have a <laughs> You have a huge relationship that's coming in. You have a very serious relationship that's coming in because this is bringing commitment. And it's also something that's destined. So it's going to play out. It's something that's destined. For, for whatever reason, for, for someone's energy, I'm picking up on, do you, does anyone here have an arranged marriage? that's getting ready to come up. 
maybe even someone that they haven't seen before or like haven't met before or maybe just like seen pictures of them but haven't met them in real life and you know i'm connecting with you personally and you're wondering like what is this going to be for me you know if you have a lot of questions on your mind about like maybe a, a marriage that's been arranged for you i i think you have a lot to look forward to and i see you feeling like that person is your divine partner so i wonder whose energy that is that i can pick up on because i feel like it's almost a personal message for someone not to worry because there's almost something here that's like well we haven't touched we haven't kissed we haven't spoken and i'm supposed to be in a relationship with this person obviously that's not for everyone but it is for someone and i think um that you plan very well for yourself and when you finally do meet this person face to face you're going to fall deeply in love with each other now where there's all of this blindness and there's all of this like maybe have never been physical with each other maybe never even held hands um never had the opportunity maybe even never been in the same room i feel like i could be connecting with another set of you that maybe you've just um been talking to someone maybe it's just um, an online relationship where you've been in communication, but you never actually met up. I see like you going to this person's home. I feel like that's why the five of pentacles is there because it's like, um, finally I'm, I'm a part of things. Finally, I'm here. Finally, you let me in. So for those of you in, uh, that kind of relationship where maybe you've never met face to face, you're going to meet face to face in January. Uh, you're going to find a way to see each other, especially if it's long distance or something like that. And I see the two of you making a huge commitment and falling in love. And I just feel like things are going to build very steadily. So that's what you have coming in in January, Aquarius. It is a commitment. It's a commitment and just feeling safe i wonder if any of you here have have been wanting to feel safe and you haven't felt safe um for some of you you could even have someone that comes in and changes your whole lifestyle you could meet someone who lives a completely different lifestyle than you maybe even um in another where there's like this element of travel someone who could live in another um could live in another country, but could live in another state. And it's like the lifestyle this person lives is totally different from yours. But it's something that makes you feel like you grew or that like you came up like you this person elevated you. And I mean that in, the, in a beautiful way. Because I just see you guys getting something that you've been wanting so bad. Something even that you've been missing which is really cute to me, especially if you already, because this is something where this, where your souls are already connected. So some of you can pick up on this sense of, I feel like I'm going to meet someone, or I feel like I'm supposed to meet someone soon, because your souls are calling out to each other, letting you know that you're getting ready to be aligned with this divine partner. So trust your intuition, because you're not wrong when you feel that way. All right, that's important. That's what I can see. Even if someone here, to kind of switch roles a little bit, even if someone here tries to deny the truth about their true feelings for someone and even tries to refrain totally from even being around this person and maybe even as I said, there's no way that I'm, I'm going to be around them because that could lead to things that I, that I don't want it to lead to. Some of you are even have someone on your mind that you refuse to have sex with, sleep with. Um, you know something about that, though, because I can I can see someone's denial here. Denial of their true feelings for whatever reason they feel they need to do that. 
you know, that's something that's very personal. Why they would, why they would not live in their truth or like bury the true feelings that they have for another person. That they can try, but I feel like their heart wins out and like this connection, this connection triumphs over anything that's trying to be um, suppressed. So for, for someone else, um, Aquarius, I wonder if any of you feel like you've had someone deny their true feelings for you. Or if you feel like you're supposed to be with someone and for whatever reason, the circumstances, the two of you are not together, maybe not speaking, you know, things like that. I just feel like it's undeniable. And in January, I see the two of you reconnecting, the two of you meeting up, either you're going over to their place or they're coming to your place. And it ultimately ends up with the two of you back together in a fully committed relationship. Because there's a lot of different messages coming through for you guys always around Aquarius. I get so many messages, but that's what I can see going on. Lots of things to tell you. That's what's, that's what's going on. Okay, my beautiful Aquarius, I love you so much. That's what I can see coming your way in January. I do hope that you guys enjoyed the reading. And I just wanted to mention that I do have a Patreon. It's kind of like my second channel. I'll leave a link for that below in case you guys want to check that out because over there I post exclusive readings that you'll never see on YouTube. So if you're interested in that and you want to show your support, I would appreciate it. Happy New Year, Aquarius. I love you so much. Thank you again, and I will see you guys in the next reading.